Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders Motorsports. Today, we're with Jack Elam at j, j Auto Racing in McKenzie, Tennessee, talking about the new Multimatic 215 multi-process welder. Jack, why don't you tell us a little bit about your business? j, &J Auto Racing has been in the sprint car business for over 40 years, building custom sprint cars for some of the top and best teams in the United States, Australia, and New Zealand, with quite a few individuals in Canada. So we're, we're proud to say that we're servicing not only the United States, but other facilities also. So Jack, tell me what common materials do you use here in your facility? We're using primarily 4130 normalized tubing and tabs and plates that are on our frame. At this time, we're also using a new steel in our industry that is a high strength and low carbon steel that is called DOCOL R8. Today, we'll be working with the Multimatic 215 multi-process welder. It's a machine that does MIG, TIG, and stick welding. It features a color LCD screen, auto set elite, and the arc performance is outstanding due to its inverter engine. It's also lightweight, portable, and multi-voltage. You can plug into 120 or 240 volt input power. The project we'll be working on today is we're gonna be using the machine in the MIG and TIG process, welding up some brackets for a jig fixture table and some components for jack sprint cars. So we'll start with our jig fixtures. For these weld fixtures, we're going to be using a couple different settings on the Multimatic 215. First, we'll be using 8th inch material and we'll be setting the Auto City Elite for 8th inch, but we're going to be putting a hot stringer bead down. You'll notice that the Auto City Elite allows us to have a window that we can change the parameters without getting out of a weldable condition for this material size. So for our 030 setting, we're set at 8th inch material and I'm going to be turning up my voltage and my wire feed speed to give me that little hotter setting I'm looking for for the stringer pass. Now we're going to change those settings to slow them up so that we can have a little bit more time to add a puddle profile to our weld bead. To do that, we simply just change our voltage back down to a lower setting within the Auto Set Elite and also our wire feed speed. We're gonna make an adjustment there as well. And that will slow those settings up to give me more time to do a puddle profile. For our last joint configuration, we're challenged because the fit up has a gap in it. In order to weld that gap, we actually gonna have to slow the machine down even further. So I'm gonna change my material thickness to the next lower setting, which is 14 gauge. And I'm gonna keep these settings a little bit lower on my auto set elite window to keep those settings slow enough to allow me to fill that gap up properly while welding continuously. Now that we're done with our MIG process, we're gonna change the machine over to TIG. To do that, I'm gonna push my process selector button and I'm gonna select TIG on the front panel. You'll notice on the screen, it tells you, it says TIG remote, use argon gas. It'll also give you a color picture of how your cable hookup should be. Right now, the machine is telling me I have a cable error because I'm still set up for MIG. To clear the cable error, I need to change the machine from MIG to TIG by changing my ground cable from the negative output stud to the positive output stud. And attaching my TIG torch to the negative output stud. 
I also need to hook up the included foot pedal to the RJ45 connector on the inside of the machine next to the drive motor housing. The Multimatic 215 comes with two gas regulators. One is used for your argon CO2 mix and the other for your argon for the TIG welding process. The 215 has two gas solenoids on the back. One is for your MIG welding process and the other is for your TIG welding process. Now that we switched the Multimatic 215 over to TIG, Tyler is going to weld up the front axle for the sprint cars. Tyler, why don't you tell us a little bit about the material and how you're going to weld it? Well, the, uh, the main tube is an uh, inch and three eighths, 095 wall. The brackets here are uh, chromoly also. It, uh, they're one by two inch, just standard brackets. And then the ends here are also chromoly. These bosses, they're uh, a little over three, three sixteenths inch thick. Because the thickest material on this axle is a little over 3 16 we're going to set the Auto Set Elite for 3 16 material. The machine comes equipped with a Miller Weldcraft A150 TIG torch. We took the standard A150 torch body off and replaced it with a Miller Weldcraft WP9 torch head. We've also added a gas lens and a number 8 cup. This will give Tyler a little better gas flow when welding the 4130 chromoly material. I like how easy the 215 was to set up, and I was rather surprised how smooth the arc was. So here we have the nearly finished front axle assembly for one of Jack's sprint cars. The only thing left on this is to weld the shock mounts and the axle bosses in place. We finished our MIG project and our TIG project with the new Multimatic 215 multi-process welder, capable of MIG welding, TIG welding, and stick welding. It also features a new color LCD screen and in a 38 pound highly portable package, it's easy to move around and can plug into 120 or 240 volt input power. For more information, on the new Multimatic 215 multi-process welder, check out MillerWelds.com. And for all of our products at J&J Auto Racing, check us out at J&J Auto Racing.com.